Speaking of Marvel, <laughs> the big news this week is the return of Robert Downey Jr. to the MCU. Yep, you heard that right. Just when we thought Tony Stark was out, well, he, he's still out. But Robert Downey Jr. is back in. Marvel dropped this bombshell at Comic-Con, and fans don't really understand why he was cast as Doctor Doom. And just in case you were wondering, Downey, w Downey was not announced as a Tony Stark variant that becomes Doctor Doom. No. The Russo said it loud and clear. He is stepping into the role of Victor Von Doom himself. Look, this news has sparked a whirlwind of theories and speculation. How will the person who has the face of Tony Stark become Dr. Doom? What does this mean for the MCU's continuity? Marvel has always been tight-lipped about their plans, but this move suggests that they're willing to risk it. It's absolutely a huge gamble that I can only compare to when, I don't know, WWE? You remember earlier this year, WrestleMania? and they announced that The Rock was replacing Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. It's a lot like that. I don't know if social media is going to step up to this one the way they did for this, for the WrestleMania thing, uh, but I'm hoping you guys do. It, it's not a name that was on anyone's wish list for Dr. Doom casting, but Marvel really has a checkered history with fan casting. Marvel infamously adhered to fans' demands for John Krasinski to be cast as Mr. Fantastic in Doctor Strange 2, just for Kevin Feige himself to suggest the character's most brutal way to be taken out of that. He, he chose that. Rather than succumbing to fan requests for his return at future films, John Krasinski, I mean, Marvel instead chose to cast actor Pedro Pascal as Mr. Fantastic, seemingly closing the door on any potential for Krasinski's return moving forward. Whether you're excited or skeptical, one thing's for sure. This news has everyone talking, right? Fan reaction has been somewhat mixed, to put it mildly. Emir Hod wrote, Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom could be the laziest movie casting ever. It feels not New rock stars just straight up posted, how are we feeling about RDJ's casting as Doom? And some folks have chimed in with uh, this person, just OT7. What if it's a prank? I have a feeling that it's a prank to hide the real casting. And, and that sounds like wishful thinking. Someone else even said, uh, Olin, aka MMA Anomaly, wrote Pretty Weak Reveal. I've even gone as far as to find casuals making fun of Marvel fans. Let's see. Jonathan Majors fucked the MCU up so badly that they said, bring back Robert and we don't care how. <laughs> and guess what? I bet it worked. I bet you nobody gonna be asking about Kate Dynasty. <laughs> MCU fans are about to start treating selective projects like they're Peter Parker. Who's Dynasty? <laughs> <laughs> MM3, what's that? A lot of gaslighting is about to go on. And I'm only ever here to keep it a bean, keep it a stack. This is funny. And because I can see this for what it really is, I can say Marvel is backpedaling. They said this diverse shit is not making us no money. <laughs> and that's, hey, I get it. Get your bag from the audience that's the most easiest to appeal and that's always going to show up. The incels, the dude, bro. You know the ones that still laugh at dick jokes and say that's gay, they going to pay for anything. As long as it don't got no black people in it. <laughs> Comic fans are raging right now, but in a non-neutral perspective, this is the smartest thing that Marvel has done since striking fear in their actors' hearts to not spoil those fucking movies. The reality of this is, the people that the Marvel's audience was for, the She-Hulk audience, Eternals audience, you niggas got morals that they can't afford. <laughs> Y'all are not bringing in the bank. The seasoning cabinet was too expensive, and nobody was paying for the food compared to the salt and Look, y'all, I, 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 I don't like casuals making fun of me. But this is the world that we live in now. Became the butt of a joke. Of course, this announcement raises questions about the future of other beloved characters. If Robert Downey Jr. could come back as Dr. Doom, what about others we've lost along the way? Will we see the cast of the Avengers be cast as the X-Men? 
look, the multiverse concept opens up endless possibilities, and it seems Marvel is more than willing to explore them. For now, we'll have to wait and see how this storyline unfolds, but one thing's for certain. The MCU is not what we expected it to be. Um, moving right along. <laughs> oh, Avengers Doomsday. It is, there's more to it, right? So they did announce that Robert Downey Jr. was coming back for not one, but it's presumably two movies with the first one being Avengers Doomsday, which used to be Avengers The King Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. In more ways than one, Avengers Doomsday is shaping up to be quite the cinematic event, but not without a little bit more of the behind the scenes drama because only Stephen McFeely, uh, excuse me, Stephen McFeely, one half of the dynamic writing duel behind Avengers Endgame is returning for this installment. Yeah, that's right. No Christopher Marcus this time around. It's, it's kind of like peanut butter without jelly. Sure, it's still good, but something's missing. Fans are curious and a bit concerned about how this change will affect the film's tone and storyline. Now, we've been reassured that Avengers Doomsday is still going to pack a punch, promising an epic tale that honors the legacy of the Avengers. But let's be honest, it's going to be hard to not miss this guy's touch because the duo's previous work in included Captain America the Winter Soldier and Captain America Civil War. And those films set a super high bar for superhero storytelling. Their collaboration with the Russo brothers has been nothing short of legendary, and their absence is going to be felt. McFeely is a seasoned writer, and his solo work will be under the microscope as fans eagerly await the film's release. The plot of Avengers Doomsday remains under wraps, but rumors suggest it'll dive deeper into darker themes and more complex character arcs. With only one half of the original writing team, the movie might take on a new tone. Maybe it's grittier, maybe it's more introspective, maybe it's more jokes. Look, the stakes are certainly high as this film is going to set the stage for the future of the MCU. It's going to be a pivotal moment and McFeely's script is going to play a crucial role in shaping the next phase of superhero cinema. The return of the Russo brothers as directors, it adds a layer of continuity and confidence to the project. Their vision combined with McFeely's writing promises, at least what we hope, to deliver a film that both honors the past and looks towards the future. Now, fans are going to be in for a roller coaster of emotions with twists and turns that are sure to surprise. Now, as we inch closer to the release date, the anticipation is going to start to build. We've got two years till we get there, but the buzz is palpable. Will Avengers Doomsday live up to the hype? Are you guys excited about all of the news and the casting and everything we've been hearing so far? Only time's going to tell, but one thing's for sure. It's it's going to be a wild ride. <laughs>